Good day, YouTubers. I'm out today to do a little bit of metal detecting. And if I find a bottle dump, well, I'm gonna do a little bottle digging as well. This is a really old road here, heading into where an old homestead used to be, which date back, uh, gotta be 1800s for sure. I drove about halfway in, as you can see, the uh, road is just a mess here now, so I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. Probably, I'm guessing, about 20 minutes. Once I get to the site, I will get you back up on and uh, let you know what we're doing from there. Over and out. We're coming right upon them. Looks like maybe apple trees and lilac bushes. Yeah, there's a nice big apple tree right over a bank. Looks like it'd be a great spot for uh, throwing the trash. Oh yeah, what a spot. Beauty spot. Lovely old spot. All right. Wow, this could take a long time. Checking this all out. Whoo! What's up here? Right up in here, I believe, is where he said the house was up on this side. A few moments later. Seen this barrel ringing here along this ledge here, folks. Right down here, I see a modern water bottle right up on the top I think I got a dump site so let's take a walk up if I can get up there I got my shovel and detector in hand I'm going up the face of a rock rock face here yep okay we got some Lots of cans and stuff right here. Holy smokes, do we ever. <clears throat> oh yeah. Check it all out. Check it all out. I got an aqua blue mason jar right here. Is it whole? Yes. It's an improved gem. Huh. All right. One for the board. We are on the board. I'm using Jane's trusty scratcher here today, folks. <laughs> We're small enough I could put it in my bag to carry in. I got a green one here, crown top. Let's see what that's all about. It's just a blank. Made in Canada, it says. I'm scratching around up on the top there now, folks. Well, right in there. Not much coming out. Got a few odds and ends here. Not as old as I'd like. Check out that old part to a cap gun there. Young Buffalo Bill. But right up on top here, I want to show you something. Just come out. You see that? <laughs> that is a complete pocket watch. Beauty. That's the second complete one I've dug up. The first one dated back by the 1880s, I believe, and it was a real nice one. Some of you might remember it. Had a train on the front of it. Or no, yeah, a train on the back and on the front of it. But uh, check that out. All right. With any luck, I can get the back off that and, and uh, perhaps get a date off it. Cool beans. Well, I'm missing getting me scratching out all the decent finds. Here's something here that just come out right underneath that pocket watch. What an awesome stoneware lid. And uh, it's perfect. No chips, cracks, nothing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great find. I got a pot that would probably fit on. Uh, what's this thing right here? An old uh, bulb. Yes, sir. I don't collect those, but I know some people do. I don't want to be digging around. Oh, there's a, another uh, 
Mocha Meg uh, tablets bottle, Phillips bottle, little one. Here's something here. Nothing to get excited about. All right, we'll get you up on the next one. All right, that's a weird blue one. Score. Right on the rocks here. What's this here? Ha! <laughs> nice! Jeez! That's, <laughs> couldn't get in much better condition than that, folks! <laughs> right on! Nice old tin! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Waterproof! Cool! Yeah, let's get into this. See what comes out. Uh-huh. My uh, interest is getting bigger by the moment here. That's right. <laughs> Another little find here, folks. A little relic I just scratched up. Some sort of tag. It's got a number on it. This is New Brunswick. Huh. Whatever it is, it's a piece of local history. I'm going to take it. All right, just getting you up real quick, folks, because uh, this spot right here looks like it's been undisturbed. So, I'm going to just, well, look. Right away, there's a nice big blue one with the uh, lid on it. Rexall hair tonic bottle, looks like. Small one. There's any number of these, like 1930s toiletry bottles in here. There's some plate glass. You gotta be careful you don't cut yourself on that. Get that out of there before I get digging around in there. And there's another. I'll take the lid off that. Something right here. Let me see. Oh, cool. It's like a green lime green milk glass oh that might be vast that might glow in the dark folks is that like a jadeite or vaseline glass very cool i think that's gonna glow under a black light nice 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 first time i found one of those keeper here's that jar cleaned up folks and just want to do a quick clip here to show you that it does glow under a black light Check it out. Very cool. First uranium glass jar that I've dug. Got a nice wind blowing here, folks, keeping the bugs away. Finally got one of these little tablets bottles. It's uh, unbroken. How cute is that? That's tiny. Genuine Phillips tablets. Okay, folks, just want to get you up real quick while I pick this up. There seems to be a lot of like broken stoneware and stuff right in under here. So I'm going to pick this up and we'll have a look underneath together. Okay, I don't see much of anything coming out. Another broken blue one. Uh, 
There's a mason lid, an aqua blue colored one. Keep that. Got some uh, lettering on it. There's a little corker. Graduate at mid. Okay, folks. So I'm just in such close quarters here that it's hard to get the camera set up and see what's going on. There's an old uh, cologne bottle or something. Quite heavy. Uh, yeah. Oops. Whoa, holder. Look at that, folks. <laughs> Whoa. No, how cool is that? Find of the day. Ooh, friggin' ants. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow. Oh, it's got a name and stuff on the bottom of it. Oh, I can't make it out. I think it goes this way, though. Oh no, this is awesome. Find of the day right there. Right on. Right on, folks. That's exciting. Folks, would you believe a second pocket wash just come out? <laughs> this one not in as good a condition as the previous one, but it still has a hand on it. The glass is missing though on the face of it. Neat fine though, just the same. Oh my folks, first off, this blue one just come out, and you can see that scratch on it right there, I just did it with that rake, and that's what rakes do to bottles when you scratch them on them, they leave nice big scratches on them, so careful using rakes folks, I prefer using a shovel, shovels don't do that, but uh, sometimes you gotta use a rake. Third pocket watch just come out, can you believe that, the glass has gone on this one as well, but otherwise, it's in uh, remarkable condition. Wow. All right. Well, I got the base to one sticking out right in here somewhere, folks. Right there. I'm just going to grab that and pull it out, see what it is. What the heck is this? G-E-O D. Brown and Company. George D. Brown and Company. Huh. That manganese? I don't think it's manganese. I've never seen a jar like that, though. With that uh, name on it before. I'm going to have to keep that and look it up. The jewel lid come out right before me. Well, it doesn't go on that, obviously. But, uh, all right. Neato. That's a first for me. Well, folks, just got this first embossed milk and egg. That's a nice one. Glad to get that. And if I can get this pried up. Ah, God, I'm getting a cramp on my... I see a couple bottles right in there. And one... Is, oh, I'm getting a cramp on my thigh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, let me stand up for a second. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I may have a couple other things right here, folks. Just to have a quick gander. See what comes out. I see a big metal thing right here. I'm kind of interested in. Oh, there we go. Oh. The roots are growing through it.
White Mountain Freezer. Huh. Something else in there too. Another blue bottle right there. Nice, with the lid on it. More broken stoneware. Okay. Okay, one cool find, folks, just come out. Right there, Horlicks Malted Milk. Uh, it looks to be a clear one. Usually these have a nice bluish hue to them. But uh, that's a keeper, I'll keep that. And, uh, like I say, there's some old glass in here. But so far, nothing old and uh, intact has come out. Like real old, I'm talking 1800s. So I'll keep digging. Okay, folks, I'm going to get out of here for today. As bad as I hate to, because there's just a bunch of cool stuff coming out of here. But i got enough to fill my bag, and i got lots of footage for at least one video. Aqua blue mason jar lids. All kinds of stuff. All right, so check out the spoon. Tell me they didn't get their use out of that. Jeez, that's wore down from stirring. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool stuff. Thumbs up, folks, and uh, catch you on the recap or on the next video. One or the other. So we're out.